Okay, let's start the snap the dot tutorial from the make code website. We're going to scroll down below tutorials, live coding to games, and then we need to look to the right for snap the dot. And let's start this tutorial. Snap the dot is a game of skill where the player has to press A exactly when the dot reaches the center of the screen. And this tutorial shows how to do that. So first we're going to create a new variable called sprite. Drag a set sprite to on, the, on start. So I'm going to variables. I'm typing the word sprite. Then I'm going to set sprite to and put it on start. Next it says pull out a create sprite block and put it in the set sprite to replacing the zero. That is in games. If you don't see game, click on advanced and then click on game and it should be there. Create sprite at 2, 2. All right, next. The sprite starts in the center facing right. Put a move block into the forever to make it move. We're going to get that out of game. We want the sprite to move by one. If I wasn't sure what that looked like, I can just click on this light bulb here and see what it looks like. Grab an if on edge bounce block to make the sprite bounce on the side of the screen. Also add a pause block. So I'm going into game. Getting if sprites on edge, we want it to bounce, and then we're going to put a pause after that. Okay, and I can see over on my emulator that my sprite is moving and bouncing off the edges. Use the simulator to find the best speed. Okay, well, this seems kind of fast, so I might put it at 500. Now it's moving reasonably slower. Okay, when button A is pressed, we test if the sprite is in the center or not. So use an on button A pressed and put an if and test if X is equal to 2. So I need an on button A pressed. And I don't know what all this means, so I can check on the light bulb. <clears throat> I need an if sprite X equals 2. Okay, so I'm going into logic. I need an if true then. I need inside of logic the 0 equals 0. In the first zero, I'm going to put the sprite x, which I can find in the game, not in the variables. Oops, I want that over here though. If that equals 2, then something's going to happen. So what happens? Pull out an add score and a game over block to handle both success when the sprite is in the center, that would be at 2, and a failure when the sprite is not in the center. Okay, so if I get it exactly at 2, which is in the center, I'm going to get a point. So change score by 1. I got that out of game. And if it's not in the middle, my game is over. Okay, so now my game is ready. Let me test it. So I push A when it's in the middle, and I should get a point. Got that one. Got that one. Now if I'm too slow, it flashes like that, and then it's going to tell me game over. Okay, last thing I have to do is finish it. I'm going to save it at the bottom and add my name to it. I'm going to click on the share button, publish the project, copy the link and submit that to Canvas. All right, there you go. Have a great day.